So hi everyone, I'm Eric from the Hematology Plus line in Mandarin. As you know, Mandarin provided a completed range of hematology analysis, totally related to all labs, from three-part div to five-part div analysis, from cellular analysis line to digital cell morphology analysis. We put end users at center of everything. And through our continuous investment in R&D, here I'm excited to introduce you our new generation hematology analysis, the BC700 series. We realized that there were three main concerns in the current hematology market. People need accurate web cell countings, especially for reliable abnormal cell detections, like the immune granular size and the nuclear red blood cell. People want to remove interference, like the mycocyte red blood cells, fragmented red blood cells, and large pellets when counting the pellets. People will have the request of the IPF parameters. Can we provide the free IPF results, in particularly when facing some dengue fever patients? And the ESR. So what can we do more for the ESR test? So based on the series of concerns and questions, we develop these new generations. So in the next part of time, so I would like to talk about what can we do more for hematologies? And we will talk about our integrated solutions. How does it work? And what are the difference? Before I talk about some new technologies, so I would like to briefly introduce our 3D SAQ for resin technologies first. As we all know, although the web cells only account with only one percentage of the total cellular population, the reliable web cell results so are always the most important request from 2D to 3Ds. So with the help of the fluorescent signals, so we can dramatically enhance the detection levels and provide you the accurate abnormal cell detections. So based on these 3D SAQ platforms, we develop a new technologies and the new parameters, platelet edge. Getting an accurate plate count is critical for the disease diagnostic and treatment. And there are so many different plate counting methodology on the market. For us, Mandarin had developed our patent PLT deaggregate functions to solve the PLT count problems. Why do you think we need another PLT count solution? And what additional problems can it solve? Many studies and past experience have shown that the analyzers use traditional impedance methods sometimes cannot have the reliable pellet counts, especially when facing the interference of the small rubber cells, fragmented rubber cells, large pellets, and pellet ag aggregations. It will give us a falsely high and falsely low result. Optical pellet is one of the good choice to solve these problems. However, most of the time it will require additional regions or channels, which will bring essential cost to you. So what if we offer you a new method for reliable pellet countings without essential cost in every CBC and deep test? So how can we do it? And let's see the performance. So when compared with the impedance methods, for example, in the case of the large pellet, or the interference such as the red blood cell fragments and the small red cells, we can definitely give you a reliable result. And when compare the results with the optical pellets, we also show a very good consistency. Except the pellets, the IPF will be a helpful parameter in India. Some research shows that the IPF was an indicator of a recovery monitoring for some critically ill patients. And the current solutions will request a high-end configurations 
and its natural regions. But for us, we can also provide this IPF in every CBC and deep test. And as you can see the performance here, when compared with some other manufacturers, we still have a very good result. So now we are talking about something new in hematologies. The second thing I would like to talk about is the ESR, the ESI total sedimentation rate. The ESI is an acute phase reacting that is the marker for the information. When information occurs, the ESR value increases. And in some patients which has no symptoms, but have the markedly, markedly increase ESR values. A minimum number of the tests usually review the cost, review the cost. The Western Green Many Method is the gold standard of this test, but it takes two rounds of it. And the result will be, usually the result will be available after 10 hours. From our investigations in the global marketing, so we find that the order of both CBC and ESR are placed as a high ratio, even over 80% in some regions. We notice that the CBC and ESR tests often take place in the same department, but there have not been a five-party hematology analysis that can could perform the two tests simultaneously. And now the BC700 series offer you an all-in-one solution. We can taste less blood for the patients, especially for the pediatric and for the elder patients. It only takes at around 150 microliters. And additionally, the technician do not have to wait for an hour to get the results. It only takes one minute and a half to get the results for, B, for both CBC and ESR tests in one tube. Talking about the principles of our ESR detections, we need to talk about the mechanism of the Western Green Menu, Western Green Menu Method first. So in general, the red blood cell sedimentation process can be divided into three different stages, aggregations, sedimentations, and packing. The sedimentation study after the red blood cell aggregates and form the customs. By observing and analyzing the rubber cell sedimentation progress, so we find that besides the aggregation degrees of the rubber cells, the aggregation speed is also the key factors affecting the ESR results. The aggregation speed and degrees of the rubber cells determine when the sedimentation started and how fast it will curve. So respectfully and jointly determine the ESR values. So therefore, with the BC700 series, we obtain the aggregation degrees and the speed of the rubber cells by detecting the rubber cell aggregation process and establish the ESR prediction models based on the based on their results. Since, as I mentioned, since the aggregation speed of the red blood cells is as important as the degree of the aggregation for the ESR values. So we took several measurements to ensure the accurate detections for the aggregation speed. So firstly, we precisely control the flow at which and for how many times the red blood cells are, are de-aggregated to ensure that they are completely de-aggregated to a model dispersed state. Meanwhile, by increasing the rigidity of the test tubes, the de-aggregates can be quickly started, can be quickly stopped it, to ensure that the entire red blood cell aggregation process, starting from the moment, and there are the mitotic spheres can be can that the monotic spheres can be detected. So we have worked with the several hospitals to evaluate the ESR testing, to testing performance of our BC70 series in the 30 departments, including the rheumatologists and hematologists in response to the 300 disease. 
The clinical studies show that the correlations of the ESR values from our BC700 series with those from the traditional Western Green method has a higher, has a good correlation shift, high, higher than 0 0.9, and we should much better compare with the other repeat ESR analyzers on the market. So we also did some evaluation in India, and we will show more data later on. We, will po we provide you reliable CBC results and reliable ESR results in one test. So well, based on these two new technologies, shortly speaking, I believe these products can above and beyond your expectations. In the end, and again, so if you are interested in these new generations, so please feel free to contact us, our India teams. And thank you so much for your attention. That is the end of my presentation. Any, any questions is welcome. Thank you so much.